Hello, it's Kale, guys. Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we're here hyped for, of course, more Into the Light content. Not just Final Shape stuff, guys. We're hyped for that, right? We are more hyped, of course, for Into the Light stuff that we have got. Now, what we're going to be looking at today is going to be the return and the unsun setting of the Recluse SMG. So this got sunset a while back and everything. This sun Recluse, though, fan favorite. It has come back, of course, as a brave weapon with Into the Light, which is free to all players. So... I understand people like different things with uh, sunsetting and all that sort of jazz and like, oh, they're giving us weapon back. This is a free-to-play update, though. We weren't ever going to get this until, obviously, the final shape got delayed. So, for the guys who did leave a while back or for people who have are new to the game and everything, this is, like, the perfect opportunity. Just even want to try out the game and get yourself some really, really sweet-ass gear because, as I said, these brave weapons are pretty much all best in slot, if not contending to be best in slot. They're all, honestly, it's just insane weapons. And the recluse, as I always said, was legit. The second reason why sunsetting happened, okay, Mountaintop was clearly the top reason, but freaking Recluse was a close second. This thing used to be all sorts of broken in terms of PvP, PvE back in the day. It was the only thing you kind of used. And it has come back, of course, in not all of its glory. It's come back looking glorious. But when it comes to actual perks and everything, Massive Arms is going to be on it still. Still the only weapon in the game to get this perk, but this has gotten nerfed, so it's 15% damage. But this is going to be the curated role you can't get, of course, by doing the quest line and whatnot. It will look really dope. This is the brave ornament you can kind of get on it as well. So you can see, you can put shaders on it too. Like you can see, it looks dope. But obviously, um, this is going to be the ornament that you get on it and it's default or whatnot. This is going to be the creator role. Master of Arms, of course, Feeding Frenzy. It's legit the exact same role you got on Recluse from back in the day. But it has the Iron Trait Indomitability. So it's come back in a lot of its glory. It's a really beautiful ass weapon. It's probably not, as I, I will say, glowing up as much as other weapons. Mainly because they were already so glowing up, they could only glow down, if you get me. Because they're nothing, anything too broken or whatnot. But Recluse, as I said, definitely going to be one of the best Void SMGs you can kind of get your hands on. That's easy to get right now. It's a freaking beauty. So we're going to go in some PvP and some PvE, of course, with our Recluse try that whatnot showcase exactly what this bad boy is like so without further ado let's go on some pvp with the recluse smg all righty so we are going to be on of course the rusky lands with our little recluse gun look how glorious this weapon looks oh my god it's so beautiful i love the line as well but my god god this this weapon looks so so dope we got recluse back in, P <laughs> in pvp boys the ptsd let's get it going and that's a f oh my god i'm so dead oh shh they won't hear us they won't see us they won't freaking see us he doesn't oh he didn't see me okay <laughs> Free kill. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, the Striga is gonna ruin me if this guy actually, yeah, if this guy keeps pre-firing me, I'm gonna get ruined by this thing. And oh, I thought I killed him. Not around the corner like that. But yeah, Striga is the same RPMs or whatnot, and also that thing auto aims. So if I miss a shot, I'm dead. And that's the fun part about playing against Striga. Yay! Love auto aim, but I will say that Recuse, it feels beautiful still. I mean. Oh, we get this massive arm proc as well. We might get a train kind of going. The old school train. If I can get even one of these guys. What is going on? Oh, give me the void over shield. There's so many people coming. Oh, he's one HP. Well, there's the massive arms kind of going in for me. As I said, it's a 15% buff and everything. So it's not as broken as it kind of used to be. 20% is honestly a massive difference between 15 and 20 when it comes to DPS in terms of DTKs. Mainly because this is 900 RPM, so that's where the difference really comes in. Because if you're spraying more bullets at higher damage, of course, you're going to shred faster. I know, I, I know, I'm teaching you a lot here, guys. I teach you a lot of freaking this stuff. Freaking spray faster with more damage, you kill faster. Who would have thunk it? But there is some interesting roles for recluse in PvP. It's not always going to be kind of massive arms. There is, like, as I said, um, that... Oh, my God. Shred him. Oh, he's so far away. Give me this kill. Give me it. Give me it. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I got that. I would have been so mad. But there is Frenzy if you want to. I mean, it's not going to proc too often. But there is a Desperate Measures perk as well, which can be pretty nice, too. It's sort of like a weird-ass golden tricorn. So the only negative I kind of give the... Uh, what's it called? Oh. Oh we, oh, we actually got him here. This massive arms proc, actually. You can get a proc with other weapons. That's the greatest thing about it, but I won't get a freaking hit with it because the guy just ran away. Yo, Juno, get your ass back here. Thank you. But the uh, the best thing I can kind of give this uh, recluse is that it's super easy to kind of obtain. We'll get this guy. And, oh, there's the train I'm talking about. You get the freaking massive arms going, and you can just go on an absolute train of bodies, and oh, I'm getting shot from the left. What the freaking striga? Oh my god. But it's a really nice 900 RPM. You're going to go in with this one. You don't use funnel web. It's just, it's going to be personal preference, but it's still pretty beastly. And as I said, when you get the train of Master Arms going, you can see it is so nice. Get the volatile as well. And then this guy's 100 miles away. No, Nate, Nate. Nate, get your booty back into my. Yeah, I'm going to slap the ass, okay? You're going to try to get away on me. We'll get this guy as well. Oh, the train. I'm telling you, when you get a train going, it's so good. But with the special ammo changes and everything, you're not going to get the combo going as much. It used to be easy to kind of spam special ammo and then go straight into recluse sort of damage. That was the greatest thing. And oh, we got him. 
<laughs> we were so mad if I died. But that was the greatest thing about it. And he actually got the heavy weapon out. Oh my god. But the greatest part was, of course, going from a uh, special weapon kind of damage to getting the kill with cruiser, getting the kill with special ammo, then just going on an obsy train. Not so much anymore, okay? You're definitely not going to get that, but oh, here comes Grafalca. Look at that volatile. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, but yo, Tony Stark, get your freaking Iron Man suit back over here. Fire and Stark, I got his name wrong. Freaking Tony's cousin, get your stupid Iron Man side over and we'll get the kill. We'll get this guy as well. Oh, my God, he got deleted. Oh, cool spawn, Mungo. I really appreciate that one. He's forgot the kill and everything. I said, it can shred so freaking hard. I mean, when you hit your headshots with 900 RPM, it will delete. It's just I could use any sort of SMG to kind of get that nonsense going. So I, I just think that it has a lot of competition and everything. It's not in its prime anymore. And how are you not dead? Young man, get your Titan ass back here. At least he got freaking killed. But it's not going to be in its prime anymore. So if you're going to sit here thinking you're back and forsaken all over again, you ain't you you ain't in a freaking recruits meta, boys. You ain't freaking in that meta. But... As I said, it's still a full map to use, lightweight frame, so you can move around fast. And we can get a kill streak kind of going just at the end there. It would definitely top off the nostalgia feel, but that's what I will say. It's just a real nostalgia trip, and I mean, it can perform, but I don't feel like you're going to be using this much PvP compared to other weapons at the moment. It's just not really the meta. Now, we look at this guy, not his game set match, but I do honestly think you'll be going in with other kind of things and everything, but Reduce itself. Nostalgia is definitely there, so as I said, if you're an old school sort of recluse freaking mountaintop kind of guy, you're going to be able to go back to it. It's just not going to be as effective. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of things, of course, with the little recluse that could and everything. This is going to be my role with Desperate Measures of all things. So you can kind of see Desperate Measures there on the left. If you don't know what Desperate Measures is, it's kind of like Golden Tricorn, but the timer on it is so much more, I'd say, forgiving. Golden Tricorn is like 2-3 seconds. I think uh, Desperate Measures is like 7. Which is really, really nice. The damage buff you can kind of get going too, especially when you get the grenade kills and everything. Can be insane as well. And that's why I'm going to be going in with this one. It has subsistence too. Master of Arms, I will say, after the nerf, it's just it's just kind of disappointing. It's okay PvP, but it's just more of a disappointing perk. So for anyone who used to love this weapon back in Forsaken, it's probably not as good as he used to think it was. And where's my decoy? Look at the decoy. Oh, look at my little sweeper bot. Oh, sweeper bot, look at this bot. <laughs> I love buying these guys. They're so funny. But when it comes to PvE, of course, it's going to be really, really nice with it. Either Desperate Measures or the Frenzy sort of row. I mean, Frenzy is really nice because it's basically always propped. And when you pair that in with, of course, the Grafalcons, this is just going to be really nice. But this is going to be the Desperate Measures, and you can kind of see by 3 stack. This is a flat 30% buff. So a couple of grenade kills. Pair that with the Indomitability perk, which gives me extra freaking grenade energy on kills. I mean, this is legit a recipe for freaking disaster. Go into a Grenadier freaking strike. Oh my god, have you just got pure freaking carnage? And also, I will say with Volatile, of course, every void weapon just becomes god tier anyway. But my good god is beautiful. I mean, look at it go. Ah, oh, recluse with the freaking desperate volatile. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, so freaking beautiful. So yeah, when it comes to PvE, it is gonna be somewhat role dependent. It's just do not freaking rely on uh, what's called the uh, massive arms. Everyone's gonna be looking at that perk because it's so unique and everything. It used to be god tier, but Monster of Arms is just, it ain't a chief anymore. It just really ain't it. Get freaking grenade kills. Even though I freaking death measures, 30% buff. <laughs> and then you can see the shreddage. It's so much freaking nicer. Oh my god, it's so beautiful too. Now we got a freaking tether this guy. Oh, here we go. And he's freaking barrier champing me. Don't worry, we got the freaking void. Volatile. <laughs> Forgot Volatile actually barrier champs. One other thing I'll give the recluse is that it's a fun weapon to use as well. It's not always about rolls or everything like that. It can be a really fun weapon in terms of, obviously, it's a lightweight, so it's really fast to kind of run around with. And also, just the bullet spam, okay? Bullet spamming in PvE can be some of the most fun things to do, especially when you get, as I said, volatile, because it is freaking beautiful. And, okay, these captains are freaking tanking my shots. <laughs> well, obviously, in PvE, it is just so much fun to kind of go in with. So I will 100% say that if you want a free-to-play player and you want a fun SMG to kind of go in with, Look no further than the recluse. So many good range rolls too and everything, but it's just oh my god, look at the beauty. Look at this beautiful. Oh my god, it's so good. I know it's getting hard carried by Volatile, but I don't care. It's the freaking recluse baby it's back. <laughs> um, I will definitely say when it comes to its prime, it's nowhere near its prime really anymore. But it is just there for the free-to-play players. If you're a free-to-play guy, you want a good void SMG. Legit, this is what you pick up. Now, I know the real question a lot of you will have. Is the freaking meta recluse going to become the meta again? Are we back to a mountaintop recluse sort of meta? Quick answer, nope. This is not going to be a freaking meta weapon. I mean, it might be up there for, as I said, those free-to-play. But you got so much weapons that can just do more work. Um, SMGs, they're kind of okay PvE. But, of course, you're going to go in higher-end uh, higher content with it. auto rifles. The Ross Argo is just freaking nutty right now. So... 
it's not going to exactly be a mountaintop recluse melee. Don't get me wrong. They will combo really well, of course, with Master of Arms still. But you can kind of see that PvE, you don't really need them to kind of go in too much. Frenzy would just be better and everything. And also, this new Desperate Measure perk is actually really, really dope for damage. So when it comes down to it, you're not going to go in with this PvE too often. You're going to go in with other weapons. And that's okay. Not every weapon has to come back and be absolute gods here. There's just so much competition. SMGs just have, like, legit the most competition I've ever seen in freaking any sort of weapon archetype. Oh, another Recluse? Well, that is it for me. And, of course, the Recluse SMG. And I will just say, overall, it's a dope-ass SMG. But this is definitely living off its past self. This is just one of these that it's a nostalgia weapon to get back. But I don't see this being the meta anytime soon. Maybe it might change when Mountaintop comes back out. Who knows? Master Ranks could be cracked with it again. But I can't see us going back to that meta. So the PTSD people... You probably, you're probably safe, okay? You're probably safe. You're not going to have PTSD with these weapons again. They're really, really dope. Don't get me wrong. And especially this Desperate Measures break. I don't know PvP would be that great because it'd be hard to proc. But PvE, it actually is really, really, really sweet. And I will say that um, in the right builds and whatnot, you can kind of see Grafalcon's build, any sort of old build. It will do absolute work. It's just, there's so much competition. So much. And as I said, auto rifles and PvE will just do a lot more work in terms of ranges and everything. This did have to be kind of a beast dick away because... It's a lightweight frame. Like, you move faster, but Michael God, the range is ass. But overall, Recluse, as I said, really nostalgic to have it back. This is, of course, you can obtain from uh, Into the Light through the, the Onslaught. I think overall, the Recluse, I'm so happy it's back, but <laughs> it's definitely not the same as it was in its prime. I mean, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but with the nerf to Master of Arm, it, it, it's not its prime. It's not the prime Recluse anymore, okay? We're not in a freaking Recluse meta, guys. You can you can put the pitchforks down. We don't need nerfs, okay? It's okay. It's nothing better defining, but at least you got your Recluse back. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. I would see you more content. Subscribe, fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.